So today we're going to be talking about Blair White, a popular transgender YouTuber. I learned a lot about her from making this video and I think she's really interesting. Blair is 25, soon turning 26 years old at the time of this recording and has 228,000 followers on Instagram and 631,000 on YouTube. She's all American, born in Chico, California and now living in LA like the rest of the world. Blair has been making headlines lately for her drama with Jessica Yaniv, a trans activist from BC, because Blair exposed Jessica for being a trans predator. Apparently, Blair's private information like address and phone number was released to the public after that from Jessica, and things got even uglier. But that's a story for another day. One thing that makes Blair really unique is her political views. Let's be honest, nobody would expect that someone who's transgender would be conservative or a Trump supporter, but Blair is exactly that. She's totally controversial but stands by her beliefs strongly and makes them work for her. These kinds of people are my faves. Blair has said, I really am the only trans woman occupying this space within the conservative movement. I take what comes with that. There are people on the very far right who no matter what I say or how I express myself won't accept me. But honestly, I understand a lot of what Blair says and why she chooses to stand for what she does. She basically explains that being conservative in America is harder than being trans these days, and I don't disagree with her there. A lot of her viewers agree and think that with Trump as president, being Republican can be its own kind of minority. Blair started out on YouTube a few years ago in 2015. Hello, my name is Blair, for those of you who don't know. And in this video, I'm going to be discussing a few related topics, one being feminism, the next being the men's rights movement. Um, also the concepts of privilege, both male and female privilege, and just kind of my thoughts on all those things. Um, at the end, I'm definitely open to criticism, comments, and everything of the sort. So here we go. And she discusses a lot of political issues like feminism, Black Lives Matter, and more, all from her point of view. She also adds her own sense of humor to her videos and definitely likes to stir the pot. For example, some of her videos include fat acceptance is stupid, Everyone wants to be skinny because there are no benefits to being that fat. Are there though? I mean, a shorter life, less mobility, a plethora of health complications, being seen as generally less attractive to most people. I mean, what is the upside? You get called for gigs like this where you whine over a sad piano track on YouTube? There are only two genders. To make a video proclaiming something as obvious and as apparent, as the fact that there are only two genders. And even where she wore a Trump hat out in Hollywood and vlogged all the nastiness that went down, which was pretty messed up. Okay, so first of all, I had no idea there was even going to be a protest. First of all, it was like a male feminist came and stomped on my hand. I was trying to get your hat, because he threw your hat. He took my hat that right was... off my- oh, ah. oh my- Blair told Newsweek about this experience. I have never been assaulted for being trans. I've never had anyone on the street say anything nasty to me about being trans, but I was assaulted for wearing a Trump hat. I think that speaks for itself. Blair posts other content on her channels too, like vlogs talking about her transition or Q and A and reaction videos with her fiance, Joey Sarson, who's a YouTuber himself. Anyways, this intro has been long enough, but today we're just gonna be focusing on Blair's looks and transformation instead of all that other stuff. Although Blair is non-op and doesn't believe you can physically change your sex, she has really made a great transition to be so feminine, but we'll talk about all that in a little bit. What's going on guys and girls? My name is Kara and this series we have titled Before and After. Today we're gonna focus on Blair, cosmetic work she's had done, and just her overall look and transformation because she's came a long way. I've done other celebrity transformation videos, including ones on Nikita Dragon and Gigi Gorgeous, and we'll have links to those at the end of this video. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm gonna be responding to some at the end of this. As always, if there's anyone else you want me to document, let me know in the comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Let's start with Blair's face and how different she looks from before. It's no doubt her face is really feminine now compared to when she was pre-transition. So the topic for this week is um, talents and stuff that we can do beyond like hair and makeup and stuff and honestly I couldn't think of anything. So I'm going to try my luck at acrobatics. Is that a word? I think it's a word. We'll see. Blair has said that during her first years of elementary school is when she started to feel a bit weird and unsure of where she belonged. Okay, so this doesn't creep me out because it has zero resemblance of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's kind of creepy, though, to be honest. It's kind of creepy. Well, it's creepy that it was you. 
it's just it doesn't it doesn't creep me out. This this one doesn't blow my mind. Okay. It's still scary. Next, although she didn't hate hanging or associating herself with the boys, she wasn't exactly ecstatic about it. And by the time she hit puberty, she felt even more off. When Blair was around 16, she started to experiment with different looks, like dyeing her hair bright colors, for example, and wearing makeup. Blair had the emo or scene kid vibe, if you remember that. And at this time, he was still identifying as a homosexual male. It wasn't until Blair was 18 that she started dressing and looking more feminine, finally realizing that she was trans and wanting to transition. Her father sadly passed away around this time though, so she just focused on being there for her mother and family. Then when she was 20, Blair came out as transgender and started hormone therapy. Looking at before pics, Blair had a typical boyish face and much stronger features. Her nose was larger and her jaw and chin area was wider. These days, Blair's face looks perfectly feminine and naturally gorgeous. Her nose is also really sleek and petite. Of course, to get to this point, Blair had to undergo what many do who are transitioning into females, which are facial feminization surgeries. Before facial feminization, Blair was still girly, but not as female as she is these days. So some time ago, I was in a psychology class. This was about, I'm gonna say, three semesters ago. Maybe honestly two, I don't know. Anyway. Blair has made a vlog on her experience with facial feminization surgeries, and it was definitely a lot. I had a really huge life-changing surgery, which involved five procedures all of which related to me being transgender. And when I tell you I am so happy right now having gone through it and with the result. And for those of you who don't know, facial feminization surgery is a catch-all phrase for a group of cosmetic procedures that make the features more feminine for a male who's transitioning into female. Blair explained that she had her hairline lowered, her eyebrows raised, a brow ridge shaving and reduction, a nose job to sculpt it and make it smaller, and a boob job. But we'll talk about the boob job after. All of this work Blair had done at once was obviously intense for her and like I would imagine, painful afterwards. Okay, so it is day two. I am currently at the surgeon's office for a little checkup and I'm gonna see my boobs for the first time today and hopefully my nose. And my forehead is a lot more swollen. After taking off the bandages, she didn't look anything like herself, likely because of all the swelling and healing going on. I am officially unrecognizable. I mean, I don't think any amount of research could have prepared me to see myself like this. My mom is currently cleaning my incision, the one that goes all the way around my scalp. Poor Blair. But at least she looks amazing now. It's hard to believe that that was how she looked post-surgery. According to Blair, the most painful one for her was the forehead work they did since the stitches went all around her head. Another thing that I would assume is that Blair gets her lips filled. Before they were much thinner and these days they're always looking full and plump. But that's not really shocking. Anyways, I think that Blair looks gorgeous these days and whatever she's gotten done to get to this point really glammed her up. Let's move on to Blair's body. Like I mentioned, she obviously got a boob job. Although she went through hormone therapy, which does change the male body slowly, it wasn't enough to get boobs. Blair has said in some videos that she just gave that illusion from wearing push-up bras at the time. Back in the day, Blair didn't have that feminine figure that she does today, obviously. She's been on hormone therapy for five years or more now, so her shape has settled into some more feminine curves. In her vlog about her facial feminization surgeries, she also spoke about her boob job, which she had done at the same time. Blair went from being boyish and flat chested to having great boobs, which obviously boosted her confidence. Aside from the boob job, Blair hasn't gotten anything else done to her body. Unlike some trans individuals, she doesn't actually really believe in gender reassignment surgery, at least not any time in the near future for her. She has stated in a vlog called Why I'm Not Getting The Surgery plenty of reasons why she's non up. Some of her reasons include the high rates of post-op depression, the expensive cost, the complications, risks, and the aftercare, which is crazy. All of her reasons are completely legit, so I'm glad that she shares her real thoughts with her audience and the public. It can definitely be helpful to others. Blair says that she's at a really good place with her transition, her body, and her relationship, so she doesn't care about it at the moment. Like I mentioned earlier, she also believes there are only truly two genders. Blair basically believes that biologically she was born male and that's just fact. I'm a biological male who was born that way 
and we'll die that way. However, as my luck would only have it, Mother Nature kind of fucked me and gave me the inclinations of a female. There's been a number of studies that have shown that male to female transsexuals have similar brain structures and activity to that of biological women. Because of that, I decided to take it upon myself to seek out the help of medicine to transition or physically resemble the body of a woman to the best of my ability. This leads us to the next thing about Blair, which is more about her transitioning and hormone therapy. Like I said, she's been on it for years now. She posted a video on her second vlog channel about how the hormones changed her body. The hormones, basically estrogen, makes physical changes in the body to make it more female over time. Blair said that her hairline changed and improved, it wasn't as far back as before, and her hair quality changed from being naturally oily to silky and smooth. Although she got facial feminization surgery, she didn't get anything done to her jaws or her chin, but the hormone therapy made her face shape change on its own. Before it was a lot more angular, according to Blair. Before I went on hormones, my face was a lot more angular, like my jaw was a lot more pronounced, I had like no cheek fat and things were just really different on my face in terms of fat distribution. And the hormones helped to make the fat distribution change in her face. So you can tell that the changes in Blair's face were a combination of both hormone therapy and plastic surgery. Estrogen and hormones also changed her body in many ways, such as fat distribution in the body, to the thighs, hips, and butt for example, and reducing body hair and how much it grows. One interesting thing I learned from Blair is that hormone therapy doesn't change a person's voice. She said in males transitioning to females, it doesn't make a difference. You just have to work on it yourself. I always thought that it did make the voice girlier, but maybe I was wrong. If you guys know whether or not this is true, definitely let me know down in the comments because I'd love to know. On that note, I really like how educational Blair's videos seem to be. The girl knows her shit. Finally, let's talk about Blair's fitness. It's no doubt she's in great shape, but it hasn't always been like that. Blair said that hormone therapy and estrogen actually made her gain a lot of weight. And all of a sudden, you know, I am on camera for a living and I watched an interview I did and I was like, holy crap, like I have put on so much weight. I had probably gained 20, 25 pounds. And it was very easy and very comfortable for me to mask the fact that I had gained weight on my YouTube channel because all the videos are from here up, you know what I mean? But in real life, I would put on dresses and I'd want to go out and want to look cute and it was just not... I was not happy with my body and it was honestly really depressing. She went from being naturally so skinny and unable to even put on weight to finding it much harder to keep it off. Blair ended up losing weight and shredding 25 pounds though, so how did she do it? Blair shared her fitness routine on her channel earlier this year. She says that when she wakes up, she goes and hikes Runyon Canyon with her dog, Bella. Not only that, but they walk there, which is a mile and a half walk, there and back. Then Blair goes straight to the gym after the hike. She says she does 30 minutes on the elliptical for cardio and then some weights to tone her arms. And then she's done. But she does that every day. Blair's diet isn't as disciplined as you may expect. She said she used to be vegan, but she isn't anymore. She still splurges on stuff like pizza, but generally tries to eat healthy. And even though she doesn't cook, she tries to order in healthy food. It's clear that her workout plan has been good to her and she's lost the weight considering she's back showing off her bikini bod on social media. Okay, so Blair might just be one of my new fave YouTubers. I can see that she's really open with her audience and true to who she is, no matter how controversial it may seem. So I love that. She also comes across as super educated and smart. The internet can be a really nasty place, so to not let haters get to you and stick to what you believe in only makes your true fans more supportive. I think that Blair has changed a lot through her transition and is sure of her identity now, and she looks really great. I would have never even recognized her in her old boy photos. Aside from looking pretty and feminine, her voice sounds girly too. Okay guys, so just like last time, I'm gonna be reading out some of your comments from past vids. This one was from a recent vid on Dove Cameron's before and after. Jaquelia Berry said, I ain't trying to be mean, I love Dove, but she looked like someone from Bob's Burger. That's kind of funny, which character are you talking about from Bob's Burgers, Jaquela? This one was from our Lele Pons video, Lizeth Valencia wrote, I think that she looks beautiful either way. Everyone is beautiful in the inside. That's sweet of you, Lizeth. Internet definitely needs more kind words like that. And on another note, this comment was from our video a few months back on Iggy Azalea and Raven said, dude, you are so boring to look at and listen to. Well, thank you, Raven, that's really sweet of you. I decided to share a negative comment too because I feel like there are always those few haters on the vids and we definitely see them all. 
All right, guys and girls, that wraps up this video here and before and after. If you want to talk more about Blair's transformation, you can hit me up on Instagram. Let me know who else you would like me to make a before and after video on, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. I want to get to know you guys better and hear more of what you guys have to say. So let's get the 50K to 100K. Bye.